Good day, mga mahal, my fellow gods beloved. Today, many people came to visit grandma and they came inside my room. <laughs> and they said that my room is like a garden. Yay! <laughs> they saw my beautiful flowers and also the windows here looking towards the cross thank you father oh because it's all your blessings lord thank you and uh, they said that my pictures are good <laughs> beautiful it's god hallelujah thank you lord i am fearfully and wonderfully made i am beautiful in god's eyes thank you god that's the most important hallelujah uh, jesus father god I give glory to you. Hallelujah. Everyone is beautiful and handsome in the eyes of our beloved God because we are uh, make we are made in the image of God. And so every one of us is beautiful and handsome in our own way, right? amen and we have to acknowledge that and know that we are beloved by the lord jesus hallelujah and he loves us with an everlasting love his love is boundless amen amen and so everyone is beautiful and handsome amen amen hallelujah thank you father you are with us, in us, through us, and in you, God, Lord, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. And you love us with an everlasting love. And look at my little ones in here. <laughs> so cute! Swimming. My duties and my fish. Green and red. The color of Christmas. Christmas is past approaching. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, we praise you, Lord. Come, let's continue on reading God's word now in the book of Luke, chapter um, 19 now. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, Jesus, Father God, as we continue to read your word, oh, Lord, Help us to understand, Father. Give us, Lord, thy spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O Father God, as we continue to read your word in Jesus' mighty name. The name above all names we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Come, let's continue on reading God's word now. Hallelujah. It says here that Jesus, come, Jesus comes to Zacchaeus' house. Then Jesus entered the, and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and was and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was of short stature. Mm. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the, to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to be guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore for fault. And Jesus said to him, Today, salvation, wow, well, Today, salvation has come to this house, because he also a son of Abraham and a son of man has come to seek, 
For the Son of Man, Hallelujah, that's Jesus. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Wow. Thank you, Father, for your word. Today, the Lord is asking you also to come and receive him as our personal Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Today, hallelujah. If the Lord is speaking with you today, the Lord is knocking at the door of your heart. Receive him as our personal Lord and Savior right now. Because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And for God demonstrate God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We are all sinners. And so we need a savior. Just like Zacchaeus who is a tax collector and the, hallelujah the Lord come to him and save him hallelujah and we are all lost without God without Jesus we have we are nothing and so Jesus is the only way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father but through Jesus and for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God we need a Savior who is the Lord Jesus Christ come let's receive him Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my life and receive you as my Savior and Lord. I repent of my sins. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sins and giving me eternal life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. Amen. My fellow God's beloved, if you have prayed that prayer from your heart, then Christ came into your life. Amen. Your sins were forgiven. You became a child of God. You received eternal life. You began the great adventure for which God created you. And continue on reading God's word, spend time with the Lord, praying, worshiping, and reading his word. Then your faith in him will grow deeper amen amen let's carry on reading hallelujah thank you father now let's read about the parable of the minus now as they heard these things he spoke another parable because he was near jerusalem and because they thought the kingdom of god would appear immediately so therefore he said a certain noble man went into far went into a faraway country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return so he called ten of his servants delivered to them ten minas and said to them do business till i come but his citizens hated him and sent a delegation after him saying we will not have this man to reign over us and so it was that when he returned, having received the kingdom, he then commanded these servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Master, your mina has earned ten minas. And he said to him, Well done, good servant, because you were faithful in a very little have have authority over ten cities wow because you are faithful of very little and have authority over ten cities and the second came saying master your miner has earned five minas likewise he said to him you also be over five cities and then another came saying master here is your miner which i have kept put away in a handkerchief for i feared you because you are an oster man you collect what you did not deposit and reap what you did not sow and he said to him out of your own mouth i will judge you you wicked servant you know you knew that i was an oster man collecting what i did not deposit and reaping what i did not sow why then did you not put my money in the bank that it may that my coming i might have collected it with interest and he said to those who stood by take the miner from him and give it to him who has ten minas but they said to him master he has ten minas for i say to you that to everyone who has will be given and from him who does not have 
even what he has will be taken away from him. But bring her th those enemies of mine, who did not want me to reign over them, and slay them before me. Oh, Father, help us to be faithful to you, O oh, Father. Help us to be faithful to those living little things, and help us, Lord, that um, what we have, Lord, will multiply. Father God, thank you. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We glorify your Father. Let's carry on reading. Um, the triumphant, uh, triumphant tree in tree. We will carry on reading this tomorrow. Father, thank you, Lord, for your work today that you have given to us. May the Lord bless us, Lord, and keep us, Lord. Make us, let us, Lord, understand as we continue to seek you, O oh Father. Reveal to us more. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye. God bless and take care. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye-bye.